Hi again, friends. I just finished our math activity and I wanted to read you a story. This is a story that you know really, really well. It's one that we've had a lot of fun with. I'm going to fix this for a minute. See if I can't bring it down a little bit. Good. Um, but I was talking to one of our friends this morning and he said, Miss Julie, I really wish you would read the story Muncha, Muncha, Muncha to us. So guess what, friends? I have Muncha, Muncha, Muncha here at home with me. And I thought, I'm going to share this with my Aqua friends again, just because I know it's one of our favorites. So everybody, Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. The story is written by Candace Fleming, and the pictures are by Brian Karras. And if you remember, our good friend Isaac gave us this storybook for our classroom. So thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. Four years... Mr. McGreely dreamed of planting a garden. He dreamed of getting his hands dirty, of growing yummy, delicious vegetables, and then being able to gobble them all up. Now, friends, Miss Julie knows that you know this story really well, so if you want to join me in reading it, you go right ahead. He never, ever had a chance to plant his garden until one spring he said, This spring, this spring, by golly, I'm going to plant my garden. And he was super duper excited. So he hoed and he sowed and he watched his garden grow. That's right. Lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes. Yum, yum, yummy, yummier, he said. Soon I will fill my tummy with crisp, fresh vegetables. Now, I don't know about you, friends, but I'm spying something over here. Mm-hmm. We know what's coming, don't we? One night, when the sun went down and the moon came up. Three hungry bunnies appeared. Tippy tippy tap. Tippy tippy tap. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Ooh, those rabbits. Little rascals. The next morning, when Mr. McGrewley saw his gnawed sprouts, well, he was not happy. He was angry, so he built a small wire fence all the way around his vegetable garden. There, he said, no bunny's going to get in my garden now. Uh-oh. Hmm. Will those bunnies be able to get in? Let's find out. It does look like a nice uh, fence that he built. As the sun went down and the moon tippy tippy tap, tippy tippy tap, muncha, muncha, muncha. Oh, gee whiz. Those bunnies came right over top of that fence. <gasps> oh, he's not going to be happy. Oh, I was right. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his nibbled leaves, his gnawed on sprouts, ooh, he was really angry. So he built a tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence around his vegetable garden. Huh, those floppy ear bunnies will never get into my garden again. Huh. I think he might be right. That's a very big, big wall. Oh, I see some little ears checking him out. Oh, boy. As the sun and the moon, mm-hmm, tippy-tippy-tap, tippy-tippy-tap, tick, tick, scratch, scratch, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Now those puffy tail, floppy ear bunnies cannot get into my garden. He was just sure of it. Look at him. Why, his arms are up, his mouth is open. He is really fit to be tied. As the sun mm -hmm, and the moon persistent that means they are not giving up friends and they really like the vegetables the next morning oh boy mr mcgreeley was all kinds of furious mad he saw his chewed stems his nibbled leaves his gnawed sprouts and he was just furious Ooh, furious that means really mad so he hammered and blocked and sawed and stocked drilled and filled and trapped and locked he built a huge, enormous thing before the deep, wet trench, outside the tall wooden wall, behind the small wire fence that was all the way around his vegetable garden. That's it. For sure, I've outsmarted these twitch whiskers for sure. They're not going to get through this. They can't. They can't get under it. They can't get over it. No way, no how. No bunnies getting into my vegetable garden now. That does look pretty secure to me. I don't think they're getting in. Hmm. As the sun went and the moon, mm -hmm. tip, tip, tip. stop. What? The three hungry bunnies looked and they smelled and they touched this giant, enormous thing that was before them. Hmm. And then, tip, tip, tip. The bunnies just hopped away. He might have done it. He might have kept them out. Let's see. The next morning, Mr. McGreeley saw that his vegetables had not been nibbled, and he was happy, happy. He's so happy. I beat the bunnies, I won. He wiggled and he jiggled and did a victory dance. Then he climbed over, jumped across, squeezed between, crawled under until he reached his vegetable garden. Ah, at last. Smacking his lips, he picked and pulled up lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, and his basket was overflowing. He reached inside for something yummy. Oh dear. I bet all of my friends in Aqua are just laughing right now because they see something in his basket that he brought in with him. What is it, friends? What did Mr. McGreeley bring in with him? Muncha, muncha, muncha. He brought the bunnies in his basket. He didn't even know it. And oh boy, were their tummies hungry. So Mr. McGreeley just decided... I think I'll share. I hope you enjoyed Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. You can tell moms and dads how we've talked about what we would do to keep those rascally rabbits out of our vegetable garden. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, friends.